He's pink ponies. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice way to put it. Joined here by Power of Evil and Hillesang after that victory, which was very convincing. And to be totally honest, none of us really expected it to be that convincing. <laughs> she never asked me. I totally what knew you guys were going to no, win. This, so. But it, it was a very stark contrast to what we've seen in the last couple of games. So what was different than this one? I don't know who if you wants to take it. Well, I think uh, we were more calm than yesterday. We had um, more clean calls and we were not so hyped because I think yesterday we were so hyped and we were like so in a rush. We wanted to rush things and it didn't work uh, fine. Um, we had split decision making, but today I think we were on, on, on the same page and we followed the call and we did it. So you guys were on the same page today and we saw that less aggressive flashes, you know, less just hesi like hesitation and just more doing the right thing together as a team. Did something change in shot calling? Or is there just one day unicorns are just chaotic, you know, everybody was across the place? Or did somebody take up the role of like a designated shot caller today? Well, so yesterday I think we just, it was really unusual for us because normally we are really good at shot calling, I think. And we just did a really bad decision of ulting with the Shen to the Baron. We didn't mm -hmm. get, we didn't find the engage. And I think we were kind of lost because we weren't sure if we should go back with the Shen because he couldn't really handle the Knar, I think, anymore. So we were just lost in the, the split push, which we couldn't handle. And today we were like, every call was really clear and we executed it really good, I think, compared yep. to yesterday. Um, yeah, you mentioned it as well. There's a similar picks, but a different play style coming out of you. Uh, Oriana, twice in a row yesterday, I said those aggressive flashes and it felt to me like you kind of want to flash in and absolutely make a play happen because you know you're at the center of your team. Why then always go for the Oriana? Well, so I think Oriana is a mid laner who can always win the mid lane if you have enough pressure. I think Oriana is uh, a really skilled mi mid laner. Like, everything is about skill shots, about hitting a shockwave, and I think every matchup is equally strong. And with the Shen, you, ha you, have, you can play a little bit more aggressive. You have the potential of 2v2 mid lane if the jungler ganks you, so you can overextend. And yesterday, well, I flashed once, twice too aggressively because I tunnel vision, but that's normally not going to happen with Oriana. Normally just like shockwave. Yeah, play it slow. And in terms of different play styles, we've seen Hillisang. You used to play a lot of these like Morgana lanes and, and Thresh where you would get a lot of advantage on lane. But as that gets banned out more and more, we saw you pick up the Alistar and roam a lot. Is that just a force uh, change you were forced into? Or do you just think roaming and getting that vision out, like that pick you made yesterday, I think it was uh, against Svensk in the jungle right now, we saw you get a pick on Diamond Procs too. Is that something that's new in your playstyle or you've been doing more or less? Well, mostly about Alistair. He's uh, not the great, greatest laning phase. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have a great laning phase. He's more about uh, rooms to, together with Kikis. It works the best, maybe the best uh, roaming uh, champion for support. And the dive, the dive potential with this champion is ridiculous. And Anya as well, like those two champions uh, are really good with rooms and diving people. Yep. Yeah, that's something that definitely fits you guys' play style. Uh, now stepping away from these games, um, when we looked at your games, you know, last split, you're rookies, so you're allowed to make a decent amount of mistakes. Now you're in your second split, and to us it felt, I mean, you can say if it wasn't to you again, if you want to uh, Okay, I'll, I'll join yeah. Shox. <laughs> that, um, um, Including Laurie, who was sitting at Laurie there, was sitting there to throw that. him under the bus. Uh, no, anyway, just really realistically looking at your games, it does seem like you guys have hit somewhat of a ceiling in terms of making the same mistakes that you did in the spring split. I'd love to have your vision on your own growth uh, power. Well, so I think I think we can uh, perform as we did today in most of our games. I think yesterday was just, as Hilly Sang already said before, I think we were hyped a little bit too much. We had uh, split decisions, and I think if you just play out... Uh, the game out as today with the right calls with the clear calls everyone following it i'm pretty sure we can we have a bright future i feel like if we just play a bit more calm we we can win like against fanatic and every team if we are just a bit more calm and we have like a straight call and we follow the call we will beat everyone i think all right, clear car calls, full hearts can't lose. Congratulations on this one. The Unicorns of Love back on the board. As for us, we need to step away as we prepare for our last match of the week where Elements will look to upset the 5-2 and two Origin. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Yeah. Let's do it, boys. Hype. Yep. Hype. Hype. Hype boop. Gambit are looking to challenge Hillisang, wants to peel them away. Baron secured by Vardex as he auto attacks it down. Betsy forced to wild growth himself. Diamond Prox gets the knockup. Kavashan is trying to trample him down, but he's not going to be able to find anyone. I can flash. Okay. okay. I have a volume. Lucian, 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 nice! 
Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Don't okay. come on, don't come on. Turn, 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 turn. And the unicorns of love will break their losing streak.